What's good, what's good, what's good, people? Back at it again with another video. I'm just gonna do, just talk about basically just, you know, um, this, is, this is gonna be a small little video. Let's talk about how much I pay for this motorcycle and, um, you know, the process that I went through to get it. And, um, you know, I mean, basically plans that I have for it. So basically, um, and it's like a different video. I'm not riding right now. I'm going to be riding a little bit. I just wanted to take a break because I've been riding for a long time. Um, so basically, um, after I got my license and whatnot, I uh, went on a little venture trying to find a motorcycle. And um, I really like the uh, the Honda CBR. I really love the Undertale, the Repsol look. That's my thing. I really, really like that. So a co-worker um he knew i was looking for a bike and he knew another co-worker who was selling a 2005 version with 12,500 miles on it um so he linked us up you know we got the talking but when i you know i asked him you know you know you're trying to sell the bike he was like yeah you know what i mean but he he sounded like he wasn't too sure but you know so I was, I was like, yo, so how much you trying to sell it for? And this guy uttered out the most absurd, ridiculous price I've ever heard. I'm in a parking lot right now. Um, a little Harris to the parking lot. I was taking a little break from riding. Um, but yeah, so this dude came out and this man said he wanted $15,000. God damn, girl. Yeah, you heard me right. He wanted $15,000. So I thought he was being funny when he said that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so obviously <laughs> I'm not paying fifteen thousand dollars, you know what I mean? For no dag on two thousand five Honda CBR that's like it's not like it's a rare motorcycle or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's not like a Ducati or something like that or some Aprilia. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, I give you five thousand dollars for it because my budget was six thousand dollars. I was willing to go, you know what I'm saying? I really wanted to spend fifty-five. Anything below that would have been perfect for me. So I said, yo, I'll give you five. So immediately he's he jumped to nah fifty-five. Still keep driving past me looking at me. So I said, all right, let's meet in the middle, fifty two fifty. Main man said, nah. So, you know, I was like, all right, cool. We exchange numbers. Like, young, when you uh, decide, you know what I'm saying, if you want to go any lower, let me know. So I went on YouTube, uh, Facebook, started looking at the marketplace, trying to search, and I found this one. This is a 2006. This had 10,300 miles on it, and the guy wanted $6,000 for this bike. So, you know, hit him up. We set up a date on, on a Sunday when, 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 you know, when he was home. Or when you know I could come look at the bike so that Sunday came I'm hitting him up I'm not getting no response from him, so I'm like panicking a little because I'm like dang I really want a bike and um, you know I'm just like yo what's going on I, you know did he change his mind or whatever so I was like man I'm not waiting so I hit back up my co-worker the one with the 2005 and uh, I hit him up, I'm like, yo, alright, look, man, I'll give you 5500 I just want to come pick up the bike today. So, this man sent me a text message saying he changed his mind, he doesn't want to sell it anymore for fifty five. he's going to put it up on some listing and, and, you know, have people bid on it. So, he's like hell-bent, like he's really going to get uh, $15,000 for this bike. So, I said, alright, bro you keep it i'm good but i really think he didn't really want to sell the bike but his wife just wanted him to get rid of the bike so you know needless to say i scrapped that idea and um i'm sitting there waiting a little bit longer the dude that i got this from he finally reaches back out to me and say yo i'm home right now i'm available you could come through and look at the bike so i went looked at the bike and i was like yes i want it now he did a couple of things that I didn't really like. Um, one of which was, and you probably can't see it, but there's like a little rubber thing in behind here that you know 
basically keeps the moisture from getting in the headlight he made a big hole in the back of it because he got like some led bulbs and the bulbs have like these little fan things on the back of it and it protrudes out so he cut a hole in the rubber to accommodate the bulb so i had to reorder new rubbers and put them on because my thing is i don't give a rat's rear about them daggone bulbs i just don't want to hack into the freaking bike itself like i was glad he didn't hack into the harness you know what i mean so that was good so i had to fix you know what i'm saying fix that and of course i did my little ram mount um I did put a tank pad on here but it was like a little cheap one I bought and it started peeling off so I ordered a decent one this time and um, I had to take that one off and clean it up real good with some goo 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 gone or whatever and get it back to normal I'm gonna put some um, a new a better tank pad on there but as far as plans for the bike I'm not really gonna do too much in terms of power I'm gonna do I'm gonna work mainly on maintenance because like I said, this is my first bike, and it's a liter bike. And most people, against the advice of a lot of people who said I should have started on a 400 or something like that, I went and I started, I went right off the limb, and I got the 1000 because I figured I'm going to ride this bike, get used to it, and, you know, I want to develop my skills and get better at riding, at driving a motorcycle. And then when that happens, I don't want to have to, you know, um worry about selling this bike and getting another bike i could just keep this bike because it's already a leader bike so so as far as plans definitely nothing to do with power um because it already have way more power than i'm able to pull out of it right now as it is so i'm not even worried about that mainly i'm going to be doing like preventative maintenance stuff like i did the oil change i have air filters coming um oem air filters i'm gonna put o um oem air filters back in there because i haven't even checked that to be honest i did the brakes the tires you know so and you know and i keep talking about this my gear indicator i love that stuff man like i said the previous owner he already had the um the two brothers that yeah. all right all right back again daggone battery died on me yeah, these these daggone GoPros, man, they eat through batteries. But like I was saying, um, I don't really have too much plans on making any more power on this motorcycle. Um, if anything, I I would just buy another newer motorcycle before I actually put power in this thing. I'm just gonna just you know preventive maintenance, and um, that's all I'm gonna really do. But yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna start her up, and uh. You know, head home. I, I was I was just taking a little break because I was a little tired. So, you know. But uh, she runs pretty good. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I should ask her if she wants some help. She probably won't let me help her though. Like, no, I'm good. Yeah. You know. But yeah, you know, got to get geared up. One thing, the Harley Davidson school drove in her heads, man. Always had your gear on. Every now and again, I'd be tempted to want to ride without gear. Because this is, you know, sometimes it's like, it's kind of cumbersome putting on all the stuff. But. I'm like, nah, bro. You know. Ugh. And off we go. Off we go.
cut through this little parking lot. But it's a nice little night for a nice night ride, but you know, that's pretty much. I wish I wish I started riding earlier, so I could have enjoyed more. But you know, it's, it's about to get cold. I think next week, so I'm gonna definitely have to put this bike back up again in a couple of days. I'm gonna probably ride to work tomorrow again. But yeah, I'm gonna um, stop the video for a little bit to conserve battery, and I'll uh, start it back up again when I'm on the move. All right back at it again still not home yet <laughs> but yeah but pretty much that's gonna be the video for tonight I'm almost home actually you know what I mean not gonna do too much crazy stuff just gonna chill cruise good yeah that felt pretty good I'm still working on my shifts though but I did hear that in th with this bike first and second gear is really clunky make it almost feels like you're hurting the transmission They're every all the reviews that I uh, looked at you know everybody kind of said the same thing with this bike first and second gear when you shift it you got to be like assertive with your shift and it feels like you're gonna hurt the bike like, it, it's really clunky but all the other gears just smooth but first and second gear from first to second is like really clunky so I gotta learn to like modulate the throttle when I'm going from first to second gear. But yeah man, but um anyways good people. That's the end of this motor vlog. Or you know, so until we get another but actually I'm gonna be riding tomorrow, so I might run the GoPro again and just you know relax myself have a good little ride to work but until then y'all folks have a good night and uh stay safe all right peace